My name is Sean Ferguson, and this is my podcast for Dr. Lewis's class. So starting off with number one, the base and five squared is five. So this is true. This is a true statement here. Um, the base and negative three to the seventh power is negative three. This is also a true statement. Um, for number two, when you find the area of a square, all of the sides are equal. So pretty much you'll just... 4x to the third times 4x to the third, which will give you 16x to the sixth. Um, what I did was I subtracted, I um, subtracted, I multiplied the two terms and then their powers. You add, so I added these numbers. Um, for number three, it says find the varial part of seven x to the third power, and then find the expression, the expression negative four squared has only one term. Um, this is not true. When you're talking about the variable part, you talk about the x and not the three. Um, this is true because there's only one term in this problem, which is for negative four x. Um, for number four, when you plug in negative two, three, and four, you plug the, them into the x variables. So for, pause it. So for two, you get negative 16. For three, you get 44. And then for four, you get 104. When you subtract, sub, substitute x with these numbers given. Um, for number five, you just simply combine like terms. So five y plus seven y to the fourth would give me 12y to the fourth and then subtract wait hold up yeah then subtract 2y to the fourth would give you 10y to the fourth and that's how you get 10 y to the fourth for number five. For number six, you multiply two plus two times four, which gives you eight minus two times two x, which gives you four x. Then when you combine like terms, you'll get x plus eight, and that will be your answer for number six. For number seven, So for number seven, what I did was, I did five times eight, which gives me 40X. Then five X times three X, which gives me 15X plus five. When you do 40x minus 15x, you get 35x plus 20x. When you do that math, your answer then equals to 55x. And then you add the powers together. So 5, 2, 5, and 3, which gives you to the 11th power. So for 2a, for number eight, you would do 2a times 2a, which will give you 4a squared plus 2a times 3b, which will give you 6ab plus 2b times 2a, which will give you 4ab plus 2b times 3b, which will give you 6b 
squared. So then when you add all that together, you get 4a squared plus 6b squared. And then you combine like terms, so then it'll be 10ab. And for number 9, you would do, it'll be y squared minus 25. Because five, 5 squared is 25, and then y squared, y times squared is y squared. For number 10, you, you would do x times x, which will give you x squared. And then positive 7 times negative 7 will give you negative 49. And that's for number 10. Um, number 11, you do negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 will give you a positive 16. That times another negative 4 will give you negative 64. Flip the equation around and you'll get negative 1 over 64. Um, for number 12, you would do 3 to the 9th power minus 7, 3 to the 7th power, which will give you 3 to the 16th power. And then 3 to the 4th power times it to the 3rd power will give you 3 to the 12th power. Uh, when you subtract the, the powers, you'll get 3 to the fourth power. Three to the fourth power will give you a positive 81. <clears throat> For number 14, you have to move the decimal pl two places over, which will give you 8.324 times 10 to the negative second power. Uh, for the greatest common factor, the greatest common factor is 5. <clears throat> so the greatest common factor is 5. So to get 35, you have to do 5x squared times 7x to the third power. Because 3 plus the, the second power plus the third power will give you the fifth power up here. 5x squared times 7x to the third power will give you 35x to the fifth power. And then 5x squared, uh, 10x to the third power divided by 5x squared will give you 2x 